Today I wanted to make a video about letterboxing. Basically the people that use the, you know, you see the black bars on the top and the bottom of the video uh, for that cinematic movie-like look. There's a lot of ways that people do that is they'll put like fake bars on the top and they'll just do that like a picture overlay. When people are actually watching that on the correct display, which would be the 21 by nine, is that they'll see bars on the sides too. And so it just looks awful for them. So really what you want to do is you want to have the correct format, which would be 1920 by 800. So you want to make sure to shoot in 1920 by 800 to get the 21 by 9 effect. Now, a lot of you guys are thinking, well, my camera doesn't do that. But I'm going to show you guys how to set up your camera to do that. So what you need for this is painter's tape, piece of paper, a pen, and maybe a knife or some scissors, but uh, you know, if you don't know how to use those safely, I would just tear it and watch out for paper cuts too. All right, so let me show you guys how to set up your camera to shoot in 1920 by 800. To demonstrate the math on this real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and make some shapes in Illustrator. I'm gonna start off with a 1920 by 1080 square. Move that to the center, you see it? That's the size of my artboard already. So we don't need that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Make another square, but I'm gonna make this one at 1920 by 800. Okay, great. But I'm gonna change the color on this, I'm going to change it to red, and I'm going to give it a 10% opacity. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this to the center. Okay, so now that we have our 1920 by 800 square, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make another shape, but this time I'm gonna make it green, I'm gonna fill it at 10%. So what you guys can see over here. And at this time I'm gonna bring this shape to the center. And I'm just going to divide this in half. Bring it down again, 10%. So what you guys can see, okay. So now I'm gonna make another shape, but I'm gonna make it in the center of this. Okay, so here's where this is. Okay, well, whatever, we don't need it to be perfect. I'm gonna make that in the center of that. Great, 10% again. I'm gonna move this up here right now you could see that this almost lines up with the center here making this about a quarter of the space that you need so that's how you find out where your black bars are okay so now let's proceed over to how to apply this okay now as a side note I just wanted to make sure that for perfect demonstration purposes that I am actually filming this in 1920 by 100 or the 21 by 9 uh, format so, how you want to do this is first you want to get your painter's tape. And I'm going to turn on my camera, make sure that I can see where the display is. I'm just going to get a little piece of tape. And I'm just going to tear it along the even side. Because that's obviously what you want is to use the straight edges, not the rough ones. So, I'm going to take it on one side here. And I'm going to get it just right along the edge. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to take this other piece of tape and I'm just going to stick it right here because I'm going to use this for the other side. Okay, I'm going to put that on top. Okay, so now to find the center, this is where your piece of paper comes in handy, is you're going to get your piece of paper and I'm going to cut a little bit generous here. Okay, so I'm going to take the piece of paper, I'm going to put it over the tape, and I'm going to mark the top and the bottom of the frame. So right where this black starts, I'm going to make sure that that's lined up with that. And then right here where the black ends, that's marked up with that. So I'm going to mark that, and I'm going to go like that. Okay, make a little mark. So first thing you do is just take the paper, fold it over in half, and put it right on the line. Okay, there you go. Now you have half. So now I am going to, so now I'm gonna mark first the top. I'm gonna mark the bottom. Now I'm gonna mark where half is.
Okay, so now you want to take that and you want to fold it in half again. So, so now you've got half of this. Great. So I'm going to mark that again. Put it on this side. And now you want half of this. Again, I know it seems redundant, but don't worry, you're not folding it any more than this. Okay. Okay. So now you've got another half, and you're going to bring it in, and then you're going to mark it right here on this half. Okay. And then on this half. Okay, great. Okay. So now what you want to do with your other piece of tape is we, we don't really need this piece of paper anymore, but we do need the pen. So I'm going to take the flat side and I'm just going to put it loosely over the other marking. And I'm just going to copy the markings onto the other piece of tape. Okay. There we go. So you only need the top and bottom portion markings. The, older, the other ones were just to find where the bottom piece goes. So really you just mark it top and bottom. Okay, great. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna put it on the other side. I'm gonna line that up with my frame. So I'm gonna get another piece of tape and I'm gonna get this for the width. Okay, about about here is good. You don't need too much tape. No, no point. Okay, so get it and you don't even need the pen anymore. You're done with the pen at this point. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half or uh, tear it in half, it's painter's tape. Painter's tape is real easy to work with. You should see how many different types of tape I have in my bag. It's ridiculous. I got gaff tape, I got painter's tape, I have skin tape for when I do the lapel mics, and I even have duct tape for that rare occasion where I need extra strength. Okay, so you just line it up with the marker that is at the 1 8 line. So the second marker that we made, and just try to get it as even as possible, and level. Okay. Great. This looks good. And I get the other piece. And... Here we are. I'm just going to cut along. It's just real light. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. It's a very expensive camera to be using a blade on, but it'll be fine. Okay. So now you have your frame all set up to the perfect 21 by 9 or 1920 by 800 aspect ratio. So when you are going to film, you are 100% confident of your framing. And you're not guessing when it comes to post because there's nothing worse than, you know, you're shooting everything, you know, to get it in that letterbox format and then you've got a couple clips you can't use because you were just guessing. You know, this way you can 100% see it and if you need to peel it off, you could peel it off, like if you have a touch screen, and you can see what's on the display, and then you can just put it right back, you know. So this is how I do it. If you learn something, share this. It would help me go a long way. You know, like, subscribe, get the word out. Uh, don't keep me to yourselves. Uh, don't think that you're going to be the next uh, Martin Scorsese or something just from watching my videos. I'm certainly not. Thank you guys. Take care.